So today we will see another concept in computer graphics that is the 3D reflection. So the topics that I am going to explain here is what are the types of the 3D transformation and what is the 3D reflection and the types of reflection along axis and, I, and I'll explain one problem uh, based on the reflection. Okay. So first of all see what is the transformation. You all know the meaning of the transformation. Transformation means changing the uh, position of an object or whatever it may. So it is trying to change the existing object. First of all, the object has to be there. So then only we need to apply the transformation techniques on that object. Okay. So a transformation is a way of modifying and changing the position of an existing object in a computer graphics. So if you consider a 3D tra transformation, the 3D transformation is going to manipulate the view of a 3D object based on the original position. So first it considers the original position and that original position is going to change its coordinates. Okay, that is manipulating the view. By simply modifying the physical attributes of that object by using some various methods or techniques uh, uh, of transformation. They are translation, rotation, scaling, sharing and now we are discussing the reflection, right? So this is a 3D object. If you see in this example, the, this is a 3D object. That object lies on X, Y and Z axis. It's a cubic, right? So now let's see the different types of the transformation. The different types of transformations that are used in the computer graphics are translation, scaling, rotation, sharing and reflection. So these are all the different types of transformations that are applying on the existing object. Okay, so if you want to change the position of an object, we'll go for the translation. Scaling, scaling is going to be increase or decrease the size of an object. Rotation, rotation is going to rotate the object in, in the clockwise or anti-clockwise direction based on the angle. And the sharing, okay, so sharing it is going to be slide the picture either in a horizontal or a vertical is just trying to uh, uh, share the uh, image, okay, slanting the image. And finally, the reflection. Reflection is nothing but the mirror image. Mirror image. So the, now we are going to discuss this mirror image in three, on 3D object. So these types of transformations can be applied on 2D as well as 3D objects. Now let's see the reflection. So what is a 3D reflection? I already said reflection is nothing but it's a mirror image of an object. There are three kinds of reflections that are possible in 3D space. That is reflection along XY plane, reflection along YZ plane, reflection along XZ plane. Because this is a 3D image, so 3D consisting of XYZ, present on XYZ plane. So when you talk about the reflection along XY plane, so this is a plane X axis, Y axis and Z axis. Okay, reflection along XY. XY reflection means the reflection transformation matrix used to perform this reflection operation is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, minus 1, 0. So here the reflection of the image should be on Z axis. Okay. If it is an XY plane, XY will be the same and the Z, Z coordinate should be the negative. It is reflected mirror image. So XY will be the same. The Z coordinates will become the negative. So that's why x here that this is an x coordinate and this is a y coordinate and this is a z one. Okay, it's a reflection x y plane. X y is a one and uh, z is the minus one. So if you see this diagram, let the point p x comma phi uh, y z in a three D plane which reflects x y direction. They said. So after reflection, it generates a new coordinates p dash x dash y dash z. So that is. P dash is equal to P into reflection along XY axis. Whenever the reflection along XY axis, see here, see here, this is your image, right? So this is your original image, XY. So whenever it's a mirror image, reflection along XY means the Z, whatever it may be, it will come here. It is reflected. So XY remains the same, the Z is going to be reflected. So the reflection along yz plane, if you consider the yz plane, the y and z should be the positive and the x coordinate should is a negative. So see here, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, okay. So if you take a p x comma y in a 3D space, it reflects along yz direction. So after reflection, it generates a new coordinate that is p dash x dash y dash z. So P dash is equal to P into reflection along YZ. So YZ means YZ remains same. Only the X, X plane 
So x axis is going to be reflected. See here, this is your original image. So after mirror reflection, this x is going to be coming to negative axis. It is coming to the negative axis. This x is going to be reflected. The y and z are same only. The y and z are same. Only the x is reflected. Reflection along y z plane. So, if you consider the reflection along xz plane, so x and z both are the positive whereas y becomes the negative. Suppose if you consider a point P x comma yz uh, in 3D plane, it reflects along y, uh, zx axis, zx direction or xz direction. After reflection, it generates say coordinates as p dash, x dash, yz dash. So, that is p dash is equal to p into reflection along zx. So, zx, the z and x are remains the same. Whatever the y is, that is reflected. That is reflected. This is a mirror image of xz plane. So, let us consider a problem. Uh, here, the, we are taking the original cube, whatever we had taken in the example. So, this is cube x, y and z. So, this cube consisting of a coordinates like O, A, B, C, F, E, uh, e F, G and performs a reflection along y, z plane. So, y, z plane means what is the coordinates? x becomes negative and y and z are a positive only. Okay. The y and z are positive only. So, here the y and z positive and x becomes the negative. So, we have to find out the new coordinates for all the original coordinates. Whatever the original coordinates are there or based on the original coordinates, we need to find the uh, new coordinates by simply applying p dash is equal to p into reflection along y z plane. So, this p is suppose uh, the p dash uh, o dash is equal to o into r y z. Okay. And here the o, uh, a dash is equal to, if you want to find the new coordinates of a dash, a into r y z. And if you want to find out the b coordinates, b dash is equal to b into r y z. So, this is what you have to be applied. So, see here, let us calculate the new coordinates. O, uh, o dash, o dash x y z is equal to, so o dash is equal to o into r, this is y z plane. So, in the yz plane, y and z are the positive and x becomes the negative. So, if you apply the multiplication, then o dash is all zeros only. Okay. And so, here next a dash. a dash is equal to a into r y z. So, this is the a and this is the r y z. So, x is a negative and y z is a positive. So, if you do the calculation, these are the coordinates, new coordinates. And B dash is equal to B old coordinates into R Y Z plane. Y Z. So, if you do the multiplication, these are the B dash new coordinates. In the same way, C dash is equal to C into R Y Z. Okay. So, here also D dash, if you want to find the new coordinates of D dash, D into R Y Z. So, D coordinates and the Y Z. So, only the x is the negative and y and z are the positive only. These are the new coordinates of d dash. And e dash is equal to e, the old coordinates into r, y, z. In the same way, f dash is equal to f into r, y, z. So, these are the f original coordinates and apply the reflection technique and you will get a new coordinates after reflection. So, z dash is equal to g into r, y, z. So, now we got all the uh, new coordinates after reflection. So, now apply on this. So, see here. So, previously our cube is like this, right? So, x, uh, sorry, this is the y and this is the x and here is the z, right? So, we are applying the, uh, so this is a cube. Okay, so if it is a cube, so sorry, we have to consider it as zero, uh, starts with the zero coordinate. Okay, yeah. So this is a cube and starts with the zero. Something like this, this is a cube. So if it is a cube, here, whatever the x is there, y and z re remains the same. The y and z, whatever it is there, uh, it is remains the same. Only the x coordinate becomes the negative. 
okay so all the coordinates the door in y it should be the same and only the x whatever it is there this is going to be reflected this side this x object is going to be reflected this side so this is a cube this is in x y direction so this is going to be reflected to the negative axis so this is uh, a reflection technique the 3d reflection on yz plane on yz plane so yz remains the uh, same and x becomes the negative so this is about the 3d reflection students still if you are facing any doubts please let me know thanks for watching